Welcome back. We are continuing Pack Your Bags Week now, and we're going to get into travel health. So here to help us give us some good information is Dr. Samson Davis. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Look at us in our look at us in our luxury airplane seats with. Ashtrays. Ashtrays. What are some of the most common travel-related health issues that people have? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, I just want to back up a client here, but you no, know, we worry about uh, GI issues, mm. constipation, heartburn, indigestion. Also, with it being like we're moving into the flu season, we're about viral illnesses, it's colds, coughs, mm -hmm. RSV, things of that nature. So, give me the constipation because everybody I know everybody I know particularly women I'm just gonna focus on women because this is something I hear from my friends yes. my relatives when women travel apparently everything turns to stone internally yeah. what what causes it how do we treat it yeah I mean I think it's the anxious and the panic sort of with the thought of traveling and it's the disruption of your normal eating patterns so mm. you're eating out you're not following your same routine also all the nuts and the cheese <laughs> on the plane can't be that good for that it doesn't help no <laughs> What airlines are you from? <laughs> I have nuts, I have the nuts, and I have the cheese. But I'm fine. Yeah. What are good over-the-counter remedies that we can take? So you want to drink lots of water, increase yes. your fluid, mm -hmm. and uh, your fiber as well. So eat foods that's rich in fiber, mm -hmm. apples, fruits, of, you know, uh, bananas, things of that nature, beans, whole grains. Things to increase that fiber intake helps a lot. See, I try not to drink or eat at anything because then I have to use the bathroom. Yes. And so I'd rather not use the bathroom. No, no, you got to hydrate. I, I understand, but you know, I think a lot of people feel that way. Right. What happens if they have the opposite of constipation on an airplane? So yes, <laughs> so you do worry about that as well. And it was an airline story recently about someone, it was yes, an explosive diarrhea yes. that situation that occurred and they had to reroute the plane what? to go back. Yes. Yes, there yes. was a situation on the plane. We won't name the airline, but it was a nightmare. And I can't believe we weren't on the flight. Because <laughs> <laughs> the kind of flight that we're usually on. Now, she carry, <laughs> Kelly carries so many things in her little bag of tricks in case for, for emergencies. What are some good common uh, products we can, we can uh, put on the plane? Yeah, so I think you should just bring things. You have to know your body, right? So yes. if you do suffer from constipation, you want to uh, bring medications like Metamucil or Fibrocon. You want to start those yes. early. Mm -hmm. If you suffer from the opposite, diarrhea, there's uh, medications to slow down the diarrhea. You also have to know the foods that trigger it. So like diarrhea is going to be triggered by caffeine. Uh, alcohol can do it as well. So you want to make sure you know your body and you take those steps. Prevention is key. So taking the medications the day beforehand mm -hmm helps a lot. So the stew softeners helps a lot if you're having a situation with constipation. <laughs> and the other medication, Lamoto, helps a lot to slow down the faucet from running if you have issues with that. All it's right. It's funny that you can't say the word stool softener without laughing. Yes. <laughs> I dare you to try, try it today. We're going to take a trip. We're going to take a, 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 a break. We're going to take, take a break. A <laughs> we're going to take a break. More, more back with Dr. Samson when we come back. Hey, we're back. We're back. Dr. Samson. Davis, he's sharing his tips for staying healthy while traveling. Yes. You know, I I still wear a mask on a plane. Mm -hmm. I think I will always wear a mask on a plane because I'm just gonna say it, I think I stay healthier when I wear a mask yeah. on a plane. Is that a tip you recommend? Yeah, I mean, we all are traveling for a reason, an occasion, graduation, vacation, relocation. Okay. So we wanna stay safe. So wearing a mask, Washing your hands, social distancing, obviously. She wipes down the seats. Uh, hand sanitizer. She's got the wipes yeah. and the thing in the seats. Yeah. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mark, she's keeping you alive and healthy. So All right. fist bumps, elbow taps is a way to greet Airplane each other. ear, what is that? Is that the pressurization? It's the pressure up and down. So especially in kids, you see they're miserable in the mm -hmm. plane because yes. of that pressurization. How do you clear it? Chew gum, swallow. An old tick. <laughs> right, yeah, right. exactly. The old. And blow yeah. out, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. All that helps to uh, decrease that sort of eustachian tube dysfunction. There's a lot of uh, babies on planes they, that they'll tell you to either nurse them or give them a bottle when you're when when yep. the cabin is pressurizing. And that's when you're going up and when you're going down. Very important to Just either breastfeed or have mm -hmm. them uh, even the uh, what they call the binky. Yeah, the binky. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Davis, thank you so much. Please come back and see us. For more information, go to head to our website. All right. Also, coming up next, Doctor, not Doctor, Drew Holcomb and the neighbors. <laughs>